Yeah. Waiting game. Oh, fish. Quack, quack. It's a dinosaur. Boss, 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 calling all the shots. So today I was planning to go to Yambaru National Forest, but the forecast says that it's going to be um, rainy, like heavy rain, but it's not raining, so yeah, I got lied. I came across with this um, juvenile um, long, uh, large billed crow. It's very receptive because like uh, he let me uh, film like really, really close, like five meters away from the birds. It's really cool. I never uh, filmed crow before because they are really, really smart uh, bird. They don't allow you to really film really close, especially if you aim the, the big lens to them, they, they'll fly right away. So what we're going to do today is just walk around, find some birds and maybe talk about the struggle uh, of being a wildlife videographer and photographer because you know if you are a videographer you have to consider the, the stuff that you're carrying especially if you do vlogging. Yeah let's talk about it. Right now I'm just carrying uh, one tripod and this big lens, a backpack and one camera. Typically, if you do vlogging, uh, you need to carry two tripod because, you know, your vlogging camera should, you know, sit on that tripod. And then one is for your big lens like this. It's a little bit of struggle, especially if it rains. That's crazy. That's really hard. But luckily right now it doesn't rain. But yeah, it might rain because of the clouds over there. So mostly um, the wildlife photographer or videographer is carrying like a 20 to 30 pounds of gears and it's worth like, you know, 15 to 20 thousand dollars. It's really expensive. Oh, what happened to this area? Are you gonna build a road here? Uh, let's see. School. See? I think they are going to build a road. That's gonna be cool. Carrying a uh, ten to fifteen thousand dollars worth of gear is really scary because you know wildlife photographer and videographer tend to smash their gear. <laughs> Because, you know, in the wild, you don't know what is going to happen. So right now, I'm, I'm vlogging with R5, then carrying this 800mm with Z6 Mark II. Imagine if I, you know, slip and trip over. I think you have to invest in very nice shoes. I don't know if it helps. The cicada is so annoying. It's really loud. But good for the sparrow hawk. So I saw this uh, flycatcher nest, but it's already abandoned. Yeah. So flycatcher is really hard to photograph even uh, taking video. I can hear it. It's getting darker. It might rain soon. Yeah, I can feel the rain. I should go back to the car <laughs> because, yeah. I'm here at Nagahama Dam, it's really quiet. I don't hear any uh, birds. The only uh, loud in here is the annoying cicada. No birds. 
Maybe they are preparing for the typhoon that is coming this week. Probably. Let's go to the beach. Maybe we can find a shore bird in there. Let's go. So we are here at Zamba Mizaki. Yeah, there's no shorebird here because the, the water is so high. Maybe later. I can see a whiskered turn over there. I don't know if I want to shoot them. Probably yes, yeah. I'm gonna go there. Because I don't have any birds video or photo but the crow and the flycatcher, a blurred one. We are here at the cliff. We just want to make sure that our gear will not fall down because it's going to be a $10,000 loss except for the tripod and head. So I'm going to photograph the whiskered turn. I don't know where they are right now, but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to wait here. No. What's that? A dog? Oh, there you go. That's too high. Are you? <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot, but it's too close. Yeah. Come back. Come back. <laughs> it's too far. Where are you going? Well, I'm gonna check that area. I'm gonna leave this uh, camera here and hoping that it will not fall down. Yeah. I'm trusting the tripod. So. Really. Scary though. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, I think. Okay. I see. Oh, perfect. I think this place is much better. Yeah, I can see turn over there. Okay, we found a nice area. No falling down, going to be a terrible mistake. Whew. Yeah. Let's get some shot before it rains. Yeah, stay here. Got you all blown out. So I have two dead batteries. Yeah, lessons learned, always check your battery. Luckily, I brought my power bank, so I'm going to charge. I am charging now the, um, the camera. So I have like 10 minutes drive from here all the way to um, Zakimi. 
to check out the Sparrowhawk. I think 10 minutes is enough to give me a little bit of juice. What's this? The hole. Mm, look at that. Snake. No, probably a crab. Ooh, it's hot. Oh yeah, perfect. So let's go to Zakimi. So we're now here at Zakimi ruin. The bird is here, so I'm gonna set up my camera and film it a little bit. They're getting bigger. Yeah. They're out of the nest now. Okay. I will be really, really quick here. We are just going to check their growth. I can see the mom flying. Let's see how many batteries. Got the hood to protect the element. Let's see, made a mistake, I didn't turn it off. So our camera is like, as you can see here, I don't know if you can see, <laughs> it's red. So yeah, we don't have much time. They're growing really fast. I can't find the other one. I can only see two, but I think it's somewhere here that I cannot see. Yeah. So my quick vlog ends here. Thank you for watching guys. This has been a photographer, JB, and I hope to see you in our next adventure. See ya.